Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And today it's morning and I'm going through the batteries that have been charging overnight. And I would like to give you a little update on what is happening on the battery front. If there is such a front. But right here behind me I have an, I have an experiment. We have seen this one before. We haven't seen that one before. But that's a charger. And as far as I, I think they call it a conductive charger and it's more or less there's 220 volts into it and it can deliver almost 220 volts over to the batteries but if the battery starts charging the voltage goes down. And as far as I have been testing this out and I know this is a voltmeter and this is a amp meter and if I turn it off it will show me the volts over the battery and right now the voltage over the battery is about 65 64 volts and these are the different capacitors that I can turn on and if I turn on one capacitor it will charge the battery with, with some current and if I turn on one more it will double the current and these capacitors are the same size so every time I, I hit one of these uh, let's just say this is one amp so this is two three four five amps um, but right now it's not it's not putting any charge into the battery but it is lifting the voltage on the battery bank and what I did yesterday was I took it all apart I put, took off all the, the leads and took off this piece of paper and I had all the, the little rubber things up and I measured all the batteries and all the batteries that was under one volt I put in five milliliter of, of distilled water then I did the same with all of the batteries so the really bad ones got twice as much like 10 milliliters and all the batteries got at least 5 milliliters and that seemed to help it has been has been rising in charge um, this is still I don't think I'm ever gonna get this but um, I'm trying anyway might be stupid but I'm actually having fun with it. Over here on the shell I have another hopeless cause. This battery that was down to I think it was down to half a volt or something like that has been on a disulfator for mm, a couple of weeks. This disulfator I can actually leave it on the battery so that's pretty cool. And this one I just got yesterday my cousins came and gave me a battery and uh, it wasn't good for starting the car anymore so I hope it's good enough for my battery bank uh, it won't have to deliver as much of a current to to be in a battery bank but mm, well I'll see if it's good it's on a diesel filter as well so I'm doing that but what I'm really gonna do is I'm gonna kind of repeat what I did yesterday I'm gonna take off all the, the wires on this thing and I'm gonna put a little bit of water into the worst batteries because what I think is that the worst batteries are the ones that are the driest but I might be wrong but well that's what I'm gonna do and this battery charger it's kind of dangerous because on these leads there is like 200 volts DC. Uh, my cousin has built this charger and uh, yeah, I would really have liked an on off switch on the back but then again uh, you're really sure that it's off when you pull the plug so I always pull the plug on it before I do anything. Because 200 volts DC it's not nice at all now we 
yeah, it's off. And the displays are off, so now I can remove the, the clamps from the battery. There. That's very important. So now I will just remove all the small wires here. Which is getting to be a hassle, because I've been doing this quite a few times already. This is the third time that I'm removing them, but... I am getting rather good at it. I'm just using a file that just happened to have the right, have a nice size. And the battery. So, there are all the batteries and I'm just gonna use the, the voltmeter multimeter over here and measure all of them all the ones under 5 volts I'm gonna put in some extra this one is 4 just under 4 volts this one is also under 4 volts uh, I'm removing one of the, the caps so that I can remember them this one is also low Well, this one is also under 5 volts, this one is over, okay, what I did, I removed the middle cap on all the batteries that was under 5 volts and it was most of them, there was a couple, this one, this one, this one and this one was over 5 volts, so most of them was under 5 volts. I removed the rest of the caps, so now the caps are off all the ones that are under 5 volts. And I'm going to put in some distilled water and I'm very quickly running dry with distilled water again. I'm going to put in like 3 milliliters of distilled water in each of the coals. So that was 3 milliliters in each of the batteries that are under 5 volts. So now I'm going to measure again and put on the, the caps on all the batteries that are over 4 volts. And all the batteries that was under 4 volts, I'm going to give it a little extra, like another 3 milliliters of distilled water here. There we are, and I'm going to put the caps on the rest of them. There we are. It's almost faster to put them back on than it is to take them, to take them off. And I kind of just ramp up the power. There is like two banks here. And I connect the two banks with a little white wire and we put, let's just measure the, the charge now. So multimeter over here. See what the voltage is on the on the entire battery bank. And that is 65 volts. And actually going up. So I'm going to plug in dangerous leads, one on plus, one on minus, and I'm going to turn off the power supply. Turn it on and it's over the 
the top already. It's, I don't think it's, it can show a voltage over 100 volts. But if I turn off the power supply, let's just see that. It shows the battery voltage and now it's dropping. So yeah, now it can charge a bit again. Uh, hopefully with a little better result now that it has a little bit more water and I expect that I will probably have to do this again. It, it's a lost cause. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna be able to relive this battery but I'm not giving up yet. I'm having too much fun. What this battery charger can do is really put on a very high voltage on a, on a battery. If it's not taking a charge it will give it a higher voltage than the rest. If we measure, I remember this wasn't one of the worst batteries. So let's just switch the leads. And it's it's being charged with 9, 10 volts or something like that. 9, 10 volts, 11 volts now. Hmm, weird. But this one was one of the worst. So right now that is being charged with 60 volts to try and put a charge on that battery. 61 volts. This battery is being charged with 10 volts, 12 volts, 20 volts, 6 volts. Well, this, is prob this is one of the good ones. This line down here was the batteries that wasn't that was over five volts so they're being charged with a, a voltage that is pretty normal they're not being charged with any current and that's probably because there's so many batteries in in series here the bad batteries are really getting a high voltage like 60 volts that's the highest I've seen so far 61 volts and the, the total voltage coming in on the dangerous leads over here 206 volts on the battery bank and this is 16 batteries of 6 volts so that should be 96 volts uh, plus some the batteries are never 6 volts they're probably closer to 6.5 volts if they're good thank you for watching my videos this is what I do with my spare time <laughs> <laughs> Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. Have a really nice day. Bye bye.